What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Attila Total War campaign, playing as the Saxons. And in the last episode we did start our invasion of Italy, in our quest to take Rome, which is the, well, where we're going to mark the end of this series, when we finally take Rome. So we only have a couple of summons left to take, um, taking out the Western Roman Separatists shouldn't be too hard, they don't really have anything, and we've got plenty of full stacks around to deal with them. We also... Uh, took the rest of Germania over here, Lefferdum, and basically just took this for ourselves. So now we have this very nice, uh, well, province all to ourselves. And we don't need to worry about anything else over here really in the east. Because I think everyone in the east loves us. Apart from the Franks and the Romans, but they're not really in the east. But the Franks which have been moved here, strangely. Um, also these guys for some reason are here. I don't know why the heck these guys are here. God knows why. The game's kind of gone to... Gone to hell, really. I mean, that's just really what's happened. That's probably why this uh, Let's Play, like I said, is not going to last very much longer. Because, well, it's just turning into an absolute mess. Um, but yeah, so we probably are like nearly ready to expand again. I'm probably going to have a rebellion here in Italy in a moment. Um, that's just inevitable. And um, yeah, so I'm probably just going to end the turn. I'm going to see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. Um, was... Well, there wasn't much that happened. There was a little battle um, over Lefferdum. But, yeah, and we took a few cities. But, yeah, hopefully we can get a really good battle in today's episode. Oh, okay. Looks like the Swabians are really expanding um, into Illyria. Good to see that someone's kicked out my rebels as well. That always helps. But, yes, keep up all the support with the likes, comments, and subscribe if you're new around here. Um, the support is just... Amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. Let's just keep it up. And uh, let's see if we can hit 1,300 subs. I don't know, by the end of May. That would be great. I just realised that we're near the end of April. I was about to say the end of April, but no. Oh, someone's burnt Verona. I'm presuming the Huns. Um, that's fine, because we don't need Verona. I'd really appreciate if no one else burnt anything else. Imagine if someone burnt Rome before we get to Rome. It'd be so disappointing. I'm like, because I'm not spending the... I guess I could spend the money on repopulating Rome. It only take me about two turns to get the money. But yeah, I get there and I'm like, Okay, guys, so we're at Rome and it's gone. Uh, there's just a ruin left. No, I'm not going to war with the Huns. We're so close to the end of this Let's Play, I'm not going to war with the Huns to cause myself another five episodes of pain. I'm sure you guys would love to see another five episodes of this Let's Play, but... I do not want to see a war with the Huns, um, especially when they can just spam out stacks all over the place. It looks like these guys are going to attack Octoduron. Yep, they're just going to attack Octoduron. Um, I imagine I can't win this, can I? Well, I'm going to fight this um, because, well... This is one that just needs to be fought, so I'm just, I'll am just i see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield, and as you can see, um, well, there's a pretty easy to defend. I'm probably just going to fast forward this. I think this is the capture point here. It is the only obvious capture point right now. Can you just shut up? I'm trying to... You know, I'm going... There we go. Shut them up. But yeah, so we're not against much. We're literally against some swords, some chiroblisses, and a general. So I'm probably just going to fast forward this and just let the uh, the chiroblisses arrive. What are we even up against here? This is just like, oh, it's Exploratores. It's not even like a good sword unit then. These guys are literally the worst. They have fezes on their heads to start with. Fezes. Who comes to war with a fez on their head? Yeah, first they're going to go and capture some arch towers, which they're going to lose men to. What idiots. It will be annoying, though, if the Caribalists get nice and close and they start shooting my men. I doubt they will. Looks like the uh, arch towers are going to do a lot of damage to them first. The tower's been destroyed. No. They lost a good ten men, though, doing it. Idiots. Just go, and go up there and attack me. There's literally no towers up here. Oh, here comes the general. Yep. I want to see you try and get through this, pal. Look at that shield wall. You're not getting through that. Yep, you stand right there. Idiots. 
I hope they start shooting their ballistas now. Hit the general. I'm not getting off this hill or this slope. Good God. Keep fast forwarding then. You're wasting my time and everyone else's time with this stupid fight. I could have not shown it, I guess, but it would have been funny. It's gonna be I thought it'd be funny and you guys just charge in, but no, you're just gonna stand there like idiots. They're gonna wait for their infantry, aren't they? They're gonna wait for their blooming infantry. Uh, no, they're not. What are you doing? Just charge in. Oh, here he goes. Yep, okay. The enemy is attacking our general. Yep, we can't stand here. There you go. Alright, so this is going to be the fight. They started shooting at me. I They took a lot. They killed a lot of my men. They killed like a whole 20 guys. I'm not having it. Where's the infantry? The infantry is actually is coming. Well, we're winning this fight. Cavalry's at hand. This infantry's not... Oh, I need an arch tower, really. I just need one arch tower. Maybe I'm not going to have enough men. Maybe this is not going to be enough men. Let's just fast forward. There's no need to watch this. I might have to send a full stack just to deal with this blooming army. Their unit rallied? Oh, this! <laughs> I didn't even realise. Just getting slowly shot down. And they're actually still going to try and shoot their uh, artillery at me. It's a bold move. We just killed their general. Then we'll be great. I don't know where their general is. Oh, both these units are losing, though. Losing slightly. I mean, everyone's losing, apparently. I mean, we are all going to lose anyway. This is We're fighting over a small little town. Does it really matter? Who's going to waver first? Oh, these guys are now fighting uneven. Do you mind just, like, going up to an arch tower and getting yourself killed? Oh, my men are wavering. Not brilliant. We killed the general, though. I should have attacked while the general was just stood there. I was hoping he was going to charge into me. Like an idiot. There we go. They captured it. A close defeat. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. I'm going to have to go back and take this flipping city now for myself. What a waste of time. So anyway, guys, I'll see you in a moment back on the... Actually, no, I won't. I was about to say back on the campaign map, but it's going to load nice and quickly. So there we go. There you go. Look at this idiot. He's just going to kill me just for nothing. What an actual idiot. Waste of my time. Yeah, I thought so. A rebellion there as well, was there? Laminek. Right, there you go. A full stack I'm having to send to go and kill a small army with about two men in it. Just kill them. Take his head. Occupy. See, they're going to hate me. We're going to have a rebellion again. So that's brilliant. Argentacorum, though, has at least got a decent garrison. I'm repairing everything here. It's going to just take forever. Uh, so, there we go, we're back. Right, let's get on with this. Let's. I think I'm going to attack these guys. Um, yeah, why not? There's, just, there's no point. Don't bother keeping them around. Let's just be aggressive. Chop this man's head off as well. His eagle can fall to the ground, and he can die with his eagle. A brave man, but a foolish man. Don't stand in my way. Uh, oh, no, actually, let's keep that. We could use that. Provides a garrison to start with. Actually, no, let's not keep that. Let's just destroy that. We don't need that. Even though the guardhouse provides some more public order, I don't need it. Let's pr improve the troughs. Oh, and we need to put something in here, though. Maybe I'll be building something here first. What's the food situation? Minus 45. We can't be having that. Can't be having that. Let's put some fields in as well. That helps massively with the food situation. Massively with the food situation. We need all the food we can get. And there you go. These uh, these guys might attack me. 
would be frustrating if they did. Would not lie. But they don't, they'd actually have to take a turn. They, the walls are solid. They couldn't attack straight away, I don't think. They don't have the equipment. But knowing the AI, they probably bought, I don't know, they probably brought some equipment. Bought the equipment, haven't they? I bet you they have. Um, let's see though. Well, so we've got pretty good army over here. We don't really need to spend any more money. Let's just quickly look at diplomacy. I don't know why I'm at war with you, the Swabians. Do you would happily actually have peace with me. And I will deal honest. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why we're really at war. I'm gonna make peace Speak with you. Quickly and well. Speak ill or don't really want to. to Alright. There you go. That's going to piss off my uh, tributary, which I forgot I had, but I don't really care. I don't really want to be at war with the Swabians, and I don't really need them as a tributary. The Roman Separatists are doing kind of well, though. Look at that Frankish, em not Frankish, Saxon Empire, though. That is huge and disgusting, and Liguria is now all ours. I don't think I can put another edict in, can I? Oh, Lost the resource of iron, but I've reclaimed it in about two seconds, yeah. Okay, I don't really know why you show me all them as well. Can I put in an edict? Absolutely not. How frustrating. Right. Well, it looks like Guis is never going to die. So my king's going to make it from episode one all the way to here, which is excellent, I guess. So yeah, we only have to take Florentina now, and Rome is then next on the list. So I think we can do this all in one episode, as long as the Western Roman separatists... Play along, let me go. Let me just go for it. I can actually probably attack Rome by sea as well if now that I have Genoa. I'll Military access. You want that for high? Lives. Well, I would like no some money off you. I cannot promise that. Yeah, there you go. You can have it for that. 1300. I'm going to rip you off a little bit first. The Franks are doing something. This seems to be a problem with the Franks. They seem to keep moving on through like the entirety of like Western Europe and they keep just pondering around looking for stuff. Um, no, you can kill them yourself. I don't really want to help you. Thank you though, Geats, on destroying that rebellion that's occurred in my lands. What are the Garamantians doing here as well? Come on, they're just gonna, I don't know, attack Sicily? What are they doing? Western Rome is in a lot of a, is in a bad situation now. I mean, I've seen it in worse situations by this point, but I mean, we're in like turn 60 or something, or at like 65. They're still holding okay, they've still got a large amount of their land, it's the, Fra the um, not the Franks, the Huns have just about arrived. He's raiding my land again. I'm gonna have to go to war with these goddamn Huns, <laughs> just to stop them raiding. Or I could but start getting some, uh spies and stuff and start killing some people. I mean, actually, that's the point. I've not even used a single agent in this entire game. They want a peace treaty. Who am I? Yeah. I don't know why we're still at war. Cruise Hungarians. Like, the Vandals are all but dead. And they've travelled. Look, they're in Italy. These guys have travelled all the way from, like, Crimea to hunt down the Vandals. This is how, like... The AI is just determined to come after you if it has to come after you. Is that guy seriously going to attack me? No, he's just going to... I don't know what he did. There's been a rebellion there. Yeah, we put it down. Someone's withholding taxes. That's unheard of. That is unheard of. There is going to be a rebellion here. It's a minus 45. Just chop his head off. I'm going to move the um, other armies like around now. I'm going to do a bit of shuffling so this army can carry on going down south. So I'd like it to carry on moving south, really. So I'm going to move this one into Medlodanium. This one can move into Octoduron. They just kind of live this one a bit short, but we have so much stuff here that we can help with positive... Well... Nearly positive. I could really do a change this into a fishing village, really, I just realised. Yeah, because imagine, look, yeah, look at the food situation, is probably the reason, yeah. Food is a problem here. Let's sort the food out. Let's sort food out. I actually, yeah, if we change this to a fishing jetty, that'll sort food out massively. Let's do that. I don't need this to be a military jetty anymore. I've got a decent garrison here. 
That will finally sort that problem out. And then we've got 3,000 left. In theory, we could spend on more stuff here. Like a village. Who doesn't want a village? In Cornwall as well. Go surfing in Cornwall. My lord has been your tax uh, My lord, as one of our your tax collectors, I must report that some citizens have been withholding taxes. Send in the troops. No one withhold taxes from their king. Especially not this king. Yes, Florentine is next on the list. Oh, it's got nothing of a garrison. Someone's already been here. Someone's already been burning it. Genoa is also uh, feeling the pain. Garrison's pretty awful as well. There better not be a rebellion here in Genoa. Uh, it's actually not going to rebel now because there's a full stack here. But that's fine. It, it can rebel next turn. I'm all, I'll allow that. Um, and then we don't actually need this full stack up here anymore. Because this place is very happy. So I can free this army up. Let's move that down. Yeah, it's going plus one currently. It's going to go up more. It's just that it's just instability, isn't it? Yeah. So that'll be fine. So we've got another full stack we can bring south that I could probably use against Vindelacorum or Lovium if I wanted to. End the turn, I would like to, but we've got some things to do with our goddamn governors first. So let's put food in, because why not? Then let's help with corruption. You know, we, we want less of the old corruption. And then here, governor. Um, yeah, nothing there. Um, this is Belgique, if I remember rightly. So, let's sort the tax rate out. Let's get that up. And then let's also get cunning up. Yeah, it's loving it here. They're loving it. What does... It's still got food problems. But I imagine... Immigrants, yeah, still the major problem. If we just put something of happiness in here, then we actually should sort this out. Like, this is going to go to plus four. So, yeah, if we can put, like... Well, this is a happiness place here. We need... What is going wrong with this province? Belgica just hates us. Bloody Belgians, they just hate us. It's not like we burnt their land to the ground a couple of times when we're fighting the, when we're fighting the Franks. That wasn't us. That was um, the Romans. Talking of the Franks, what are they doing? Absolutely nothing. Looks like the Western Roman separatists are actually going to try and make a go for one of my settlements, I've just realised. The cheeky buggers. Yeah, they are. They're actually going to try and make it go for herbs, this. I mean, it's got a decent garrison. It'll hold for a while. And I've got a full stack on the way. I might actually have a decent battle this, but this episode, we could have a big fight against the rebels. Imagine that's going to be our final battle of this uh, series, imagine. I don't think Rome's going to even be defended with anything, but I've got to show the siege of Rome, I guess. When we take Rome for ourselves. The Western Roman Empire seems quite content with holding southern and southern Italy and the rest of Spain. Which, or what it holds, but it's slowly getting pushed back by the Scots, of all people. Of course it's some angry Scots that miss the sun that are invading. Um... Spain, yeah, I guess. Don't know where I was really going with that. And that flipping faction from the Caucasus is, is going to try and take Lefertum, I bet. That's the only reason they can be going up here. Yeah, here they come. Oh, they're going to actually try and come for uh, Visontio or something. Ah, the cheeky people. Yeah, Western Germanic Separatists are dead now. I wonder if they, who they died to. Let me guess. The Swabians, yeah. Welcome. Let's me make a non-aggression pact with these people. Oh, no, you hate me. But it is actually improving, so I don't know why you... Why would you be against that? Also, can I make peace with you now? I don't really want to be... A... You have my attention. I knew it! They just have it in for me. Well, actually, I might move this army back then. And strike with this for army. Can he reach... He can't even reach Argentacorum. So if I put him here... It's obviously going to piss this place off for a bit, but that's fine. We can we can deal with that. There you go. Go into Lef back into Lefferdum. I would love to have sent you down here, but there is an army hidden right here. And I'm sure it can reach us. I'm sure they can reach us. Anyway, attack Florentina. Or Florence, as it basically is. It's Florentina, isn't it? But it's, it's Florence. We all know it. And I'm also calling it by its football name. Florentina's the... 
Yeah. Oh, I could liberate... I could liberate Italy. No, I'm okay. Destroy. Oh, what's this? A quarry. Destroy. Um, you... Oh, we need to put a lot of stuff in here. You can have a meeting hall. A minus 20. Wow, I'm going to put you down here. Is Are you still raiding? I just realized. No. Food is a problem. We need to sort that out. Let's sort the issue of food out. Um, actually, well, we're we going to sort it. It's minus 39. We're going to possibly sort it out with these two. Yeah, well, we're going to get 30 there alone, and we're going to get 9 there, so we don't need to actually put that in. I might put in a religious thing. Cause we're, yeah, we've not got any religion converting Liguria to a Saxon lifestyle. Whatever a Saxon lifestyle is, just angry men talking. Subject! Tribute! Gre greetings! I was trying to say, greetings, apparently. Greetings! I have brought a gift from my people in order that you m may improve relations. I accept your gift. Why would I kill the man? Unless it kills me. Which you might, I guess. Um, I guess. Oh, I can't put you in Fortify. Shame. Um, I have not quite got enough money to upgrade this. Could we get? Could we scam any money out of anyone? Could we scam? Maybe you. Greetings, friend. Trade. Yeah, let's get trade. Why have we not got trade? Yes, trade. Excellent. Oh, and the Visigoths we found now. Greetings, friend. There we go. Let's just... I don't care about the Vandals. Oh, the Vandals aren't even like at war anymore? Are they dead? No. They're also at peace with them. Visigoths. Greetings, trade. Friend. Yes. I thought so. I thought you'd love a bit of trade. You wish, but bring words that can warm our hearts. Hi, still. Your economy's supposed to be weak. Yet. There we go. There we go. A bit more trade. Let's just get non-aggression as well. Maybe a defensive alliance? No, that that was a little that was a little too far. That was one step over the line that they were like, no, can't have that. Welcome. Non-aggression? Uh, no, I'm not giving you money. I'm sorry. Sclavians. Do not no, no surprise there that they hated me. Right, we've got plenty of money now that we can probably upgrade some stuff. I really want to change. Augusta Vindelicorum, not Augusta Trevorum, sorry. To a flipping. Um, Saxon settlement, but it's going to cost me a little bit more. I don't even know if we're going to be that around that many more turns, so I'm not. Even, I won't bother spending my money there. Um, let's upgrade this. That might take four turns. We might be around for that. And that will certainly help with Germanic paganism, which is still a problem here. I will add. Um, and then that's it. We'll probably end the turn. Oh, no, we've got a character, a governor. A governor needs stuff doing. Very well. He can have that and that. So I guess we're working our way down here, but he's not even going to get to the end. Look, at, that's it. Looks how long it takes a governor to upgrade. Like governors, just like constantly, like he's been there since the very first turn. Like I've put him as a governor. No, he's not. Only just got to level six. I'll never get him fully upgraded. I don't know if there's any way that I can get him more upgraded. Possibly, probably was. Just didn't really bother doing anything in the politics. Politics doesn't really need to be touched, unless it's loyalty. You don't really need to touch it. I like how the Frankish fleet as well is still, like, doing its thing, going around the coast, looking for a way in. Oh my gosh, they've just sacked Regium again. Poor people of Regium. Like, these desert people, who have never used a boat before. They're a landlocked people. Never seen a boat in their life, probably. And they're now raiding Italy. What is happening? You could take Caesar Augusta back. Why are you just standing outside it? You might need that back. What are they... Uh, here they come. I told you. They'll be coming. Right, we'll attack them next turn. Well, that could be our big battle of the episode. I think I am probably just going to make this an extra long one because we're going to take Rome next turn um, and we're going to attack this one. So we'll probably make Rome the last fight. And look, see they're going to try and get to Argentacorum. It's not going to happen. This huge army that's just lingering around there. Rebellion down here. So let's... 
I made this pe these people a fleet. I didn't even mean to. Let's just kick them out. I'm fine with them being in their territory because it means it gets it down a little bit further for mine. Um, what's the food situation here? Food is actually plus. That's good. Um, I'm going to put that in. And I'm going to put that in. That will help with all the situation problems there. Let's move this army. Force march. To Argentacorum. I can also do that. I'll just let him get there. I think he's made it. No, he's, he's still going. He's still doddering his way there. Right, now I'm going to do this fight here first. I'm perfectly believe that I can win this. It's only like... Yeah, I'm going to also get reinforcements, which aren't isn't much, but we'll take them. So I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield for what could be the final and probably the biggest battle of uh, the series, I think. Well, not the biggest. But it's a, it's going to be the biggest of the episode, I imagine. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield, and the plan is... Oh, I do apologize. Um, is to basically just, you know, take them out. Nice and simple. Just going to make a nice long line of spears, have our axes in behind. They can just charge in. I'm going to... Uh, actually, no, I'm going to put my axes on the flank since I don't have any Nordic Brigade. I've got my pikes I can go in behind. So we'll do that. Archers, well, slingers can go out front. And then let's put pikes in behind like I said I would. General can stay where he is. And all the cavalry I'm going to put on the right flank. There we go. I probably don't even need the second army, but it's going to come and do its thing. Don't know what that formation is. Can the slingers all come back to here? Thank you very much. Look, friendly banners. Friendly banners? Where? Oh, behind us. No surprise. I mean, there's two, three units there that are half decent. Actually, these Nordic Raiders aren't bad either. I just don't want those Nordic Brigade. God, they're awful. Yeah, I don't. I think they brought one unit of range, and the rest is just. And they brought some cavalry. That's all I'm kind of. I'm not even scared of them. This unit is is pretty good. Step lances, even for tier one, they're pretty damn nasty. And they've got some nasty swords. They've got mercenary Bosphorans, which are tier two. But I'm still not scared. This army's just pants. Okay, I don't know what the spears have done. Didn't clearly like me dragging them all the way there. Can you just come back? Um, axes. Kind of go a bit like that. Cavalry, you might as well come back in a bit. Oh, more cavalry here. We'll put these on this side. Actually, no, go over this side. Hidden units, watch out. Yes. So he's charging. He's going to charge axes. A brilliant decision. Um, focus them down. Focus them down. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. The wow, the axes actually broke. Wow, they didn't like that one bit. Wow, I'm really surprised. Anyway, uh, spears, form shield wall, and then pikes just go in because otherwise you're gonna get focused down there. Did those axes return? They did. Go and take out the general. Um, you just take them out. And then everyone else just flank on in because the AI's dumb. And just attacks the nearest spot it finds. General go in, why not? What could go wrong? My general will die now, won't he? Yeah. Our general's under attack because I told him to attack. You idiots. But yep, yeah, I'll show you the front line. Um, since we don't get to see the front line very often, this is my Saxon boys doing their bit. Look at them. The glorious men. Fighting against an army that really shouldn't be here. This is literally an army from the Black Sea. It's, an, it's a flipping, like, Asiatic army. Shouldn't be here. 
Oh, some spears. That'd actually come and aid. I don't really care. Just kill the general and we win. But yeah, their boss for swords might do some damage, but that's about it. Excellent, the general is dead. Brilliant. Um, you just start shooting these guys. And you can be on skirmish mode. Look, we're just like moving down the entire line. It's fucking dis it's just disgusting. It's disgusting. Uh cavalry just charging the back over here. How the axe is doing. They're doing alright, look at them. With their awesome ponytails and big old axes. Look at these guys. They are fighting mercenary boss friends. But they are breaking. That's what you get. There we go, that's gonna be uh, the battle, really. It wasn't that hard. You just gotta play defensive when you're going up against the AI and you'll probably win nine, nine times out of ten. It's not very fun to wa um, watch sometimes, but it's highly effective. Final unit. Yeah, they're just gonna get charged down by cavalry. They'll have the initial... Uh... There we go, a nice little rear charge as well. And that'll break them very nicely. And there we go, an end to the battle. Victory, a decisive victory. And Lefurdum stays safe for another day. Yeah, I think the only unit really like got beaten up was that like, unit of axes that got like charged directly by cavalry, which I'm surprised would happen because axes should really be chopping up horses. Like no problem. Like I said, that step warrior, that step horse unit, very dangerous. We'll take on warriors. Um I'm not bother gonna bother taking chase. They can just starve on the way home through the snow. And now is probably the time that we've all been waiting for. Which is to attack Rome. The capital of the Roman Empire. Alright, so it's gonna take us one turn. I'm gonna not I'm gonna take siege towers. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through one one gate. Um, on Rome. No, I'm okay. So it will be one more turn. We'll have to wait and see. I forget I haven't got artillery. Silly me. Don't have artillery to do anything with it. Right. I guess I can improve. What have we got over here? Herbazis, I guess, could improve stuff. Oh, Lefertum got damaged. Oh, I didn't even realize. There you go. Now you're all good and better and proper. There you go. Londonium can have better food, storage, and sanitation. I'll help with growth. Hopefully, anyway. It should help with growth. I'm pretty sure sanitation does. Anyway, we'll end the turn. And then... Oh, no, we won't. We've got stuff here to do. Apparently, we have stuff here to do. Right. Well, you can have melee defense. And you can have bowel movements. And then lightning raiders can have that one and that one. There they go. Now they can end the turn. Lightning raiders, not lightning... Lightning raiders would also be quite good a name. But it's not, unfortunately. And for the final turn, I think we will be ending. Uh, well, we'll be looking at the end turn movements. I think for the final time, the Geats just pondering around, doing their own thing. It's a bit of shame because I thought they could carve out a really nice empire for themselves, but they just keep moving their armies around. I mean, very hel helpful in just taking out my all, all my rebellions, but they've not done much else but but that. I won't lie. Um. The Huns, well, I guess it's still early for the Huns. They've got some pretty nice armies, though, I won't lie. Um, but, I mean, they seem to be all dotted all over the place, and they don't seem to want to um, actually form Horde. They'd rather just... And the, what are the Western Roman Empire doing? That's the thing, they don't want to retake land. They're just quite happy to sack it. And there we go, Abagasea, or whoever they are, has gone back to... Abasgea have gone back to... Uh, the Corsicuses. It's just so weird. They just came all this way here. It shows how determined they are. And Hispania is now moving. I don't care about Hispania. They're nowhere near me. See, this guy's going to try again. Try and get past and go for Vesontio or for Octodoron. It's not going to happen. 
And a rebellion imminent in Natalia. Well, I don't mind. I would probably have dealt with it. But we're going to be doing the Siege of Rome. That's all I care about. We'll do the Siege of Rome and we will see if this army can take out that garrison. I do believe it probably can. But this is, this is going to be the final battle on a magnificent map. It's probably one of the nicest maps that uh, Attila does have to offer. I'll probably attack this huge wall over here. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Probably send in the axes first. Like I don't really care about losing them now at this point. Like there's so there's nothing left. Like after this, I'm probably gonna there's not gonna be any more turns, so I can take as many losses as I want. So we're back on the battlefield anyway, and it's already spawned me in the place that I thought I would attack anyway. It's this long line, well, long wall here. I'm probably going to... I only get two siege towers, wow. Um, well, if that's the case, we'll attack here. Two siege towers, all we get for one turn of effort. Shock him. It should be enough, though. Um, should be enough. Just put the cavalry here. Nordic band can go here, I guess. They could be the first in after these axes if they don't make any effort, any any of dent. And we'll go something like that. And there we go. Up on the wall you go. And we'll just fast forward. Because we don't need to see this. I mean, look at this. It's going to be 2,100 men against 400. These poor Sagittarii are going to be the first to defend. Looks like there's a defense. Oh no, they just put a barricade up. I mean, we'll look at the map while uh, we're waiting. Look at this, the Colosseum. Looks awesome. Um, it just looks amazing. I mean, I'm surprised the Colosseum's still in this, like, condition with the amount of times that Rome's probably been sacked at this point. Don't think it's been sacked yet once, but um, it's, it's certainly looking like it's going to be sacked. It looks like it's certainly been sacked. Look at this, it's like the slums almost they are. Rome is definitely a lot bigger than this. Like, this is, well, I mean, it's not really got the other side of Rome, which I'm sure there'd be, like, more out here. Um, it's also only got one wall, which definitely isn't the case. Rome did have a wall the entire way around. We've also got the Circus Maximus. I've seen both of these. I've seen um, both of these in reality. Very, very cool. The Capitoline Hill, I presume this is supposed to be, and that's one of the other hills here. Um, and this, I presume, is supposed to be the Pantheon, which is now outside the walls. That's a bit bizarre, but okay. Can't complain, really. Um, we'll send up the Nordic band ready, but they're probably going to get shot as they get arrive here. Actually, no, you go down there. Go down there. There we go. Are these guys firing as well? Oh, okay, they've only taken up a massive three. They're, they're going to literally charge all my men that uh, are like coming up. But here come the Nordic bands. So send these guys up on Nordic Brigade. Um, I guess we put more men on the walls, but I don't really need them here. We'll overwhelm them. My men are losing, actually, this fight, which is no surprise. More of them need to get down. Get down on the walls. Off the walls. The Sagittarius, though, will win. Uh, not win, uh, we'll lose. We're definitely going to win against the Sagittarius. It's what I meant to say. If the Sagittarius did, did win, that would be also embarrassing. These men are also wearing fezes. In my eyes. these are This is just a, a fez. But, I mean, they are getting chopped up. Look at that. Those axes doing work. Yeah, this unit of uh, Axe Nordic Act Warband may or may not break. Um, we'll put these guys on the wall as well. There we go. They're off the wall. Go down here. Go and claim this.
Get down there, boys. Chop them up. Excellent. Right. Now the Nordic Brigade, since they're now basically on the wall as well, you can also get down there. There's still Nordic Axe Warriors getting off the walls. Just coming onto the walls like, we're finally here, boys. Don't worry. We're, we're getting in there. Don't know why you're going that way, chaps. Interesting. I won't say the least. Um, you go into the back because we're going to need you in there right now. And the swords can capture this. Actually, I'd rather the swords didn't capture this. Because if they capture the tower, it's going to destroy the tower, I just realised. I'm going to lose a lot of men for nothing. Though it's only Nordic Brigade, so do I really care? Quite possibly not. Yeah, it's, look what's about to happen. They're going to kill all of these men that come down here. There's only a few doing it, in fairness. Yeah, there you go. Loads died for that. Well, I say loads. It was about 12. Um, and 12 Nordic Brigade, no one really cares about. But, I mean, these cavalry are actually doing quite well. These scout equities have held these guys back for a long time. Though we are starting to win the fight. It's just because the infantry left. And now, I don't think there's anything else after this. I think these are the only two units in here that are left but it's a beautiful city and uh, it's going to be worth taking worth every penny I mean what have they got here oh they're getting Comatiensis so they're not a bad unit but they are now breaking and they're getting charged in the back and we're just going to chop these guys down yeah make sure they break and there goes the cavalry what is left then Guess we'll go over here. Capture this. Because those two units are about to break. I mean, the cavalry hasn't broken just yet. Uh, can you destroy this barricade, chaps? That's what I'd like you to do. Go and destroy this barricade. We'll fast forward quickly. And then, yeah, that's that's just really it. So I hope you guys... I'll um, wrap up this... Uh, wrap up the series while we're doing this so i hope you guys have been enjoy have enjoyed the saxon uh let's play i know a lot of you asked for it and i'm glad that i uh, did it in the end it was really fun never played as the saxons and um though i could continue on and we could go on it's just i feel like we've already hit like the uh like the peak of it i'm now pretty unstoppable if i'm able to just burst through rome's defenses um i'm yeah basically unstoppable now i've got pretty damn elite units rome is those cavalry are back which is annoying Oh well, do their they can do their thing. Looks like this has been captured by someone that isn't me. What is going on here? Go and go and capture it then, I guess. You idiots. Um, yeah, there you go. They're doing their bit. Go and capture the city. Why are you here? Why on earth are you here? How the heck did you get hit? Yeah, we're gonna. But yeah, I'm glad I did it anyway. And yeah, we're basically unstoppable now with Rome. Rome falling just like this. Um, I don't... Is that the other unit? Oh, look, no, that's a gate. Um, Rome is about to fall. I'm not quite sure what's left. It's about 120 men of some sort. I bet they're probably just over here. Just doing their own thing. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Let's kill these guys. I guess I'll let some of the boys in the... In the city. There you go. Get in the city. This whole wall's now available to take. Oh, it's the Western Palatina. A very good unit. A very good unit in my eyes, anyway. Oh my gosh. If the camera would work, that would be even beautiful. But yeah, so, I mean, this has got what is going to be the final defense of Rome. It's one unit of Western Auxilia Palatina. Not even true Romans are defending the city now. It's just some Auxilia. Um... But yes, I'm really gl glad that we did this uh, Let's Play. If you've got any more um, suggestions that you'd like me to do, I have got a few already lined up. But for the future, I can always take suggestions. Um, if you wanted to see another uh, Vanilla Attila uh, Let's Play, let me know. And let me know what faction you'd like me to try and play as. Um, it will obviously have to be like taken in mind because obviously I have got other projects I'd like to do. 
But I'm glad that I uh, did this one. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it and gave it all the support you have with likes, comments, and sub subscribing. Um, and just, yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed it and thought I did a good job. I mean, I'm about to take Rome, so I must have done an all right job. Can you just go and take this? If you're going to stand here, go and take that. There we go, a victory. The unit breaks, and uh, yeah, this is it. So I'll end, the, end that decisive victory, and we now have Rome for ourselves. Um, we lost, yeah, like 200 men. They lost about 400, uh, 300, so... That's the pain you can go through in a siege, really. You can, like, almost lose as many men as you, uh, or kill many as many as you lose. But there we go. The execution has taken place. And now Rome is ours. And we are definitely going to have a rebellion there, but I do not care. So I'll, um, just put, give him some food and I'll give him sacking ability. But there we go. The Let's Play is over. Saxon, the Saxons have been uh, triumphant. We basically control everything from Hadrian's Wall to Rome. We are kind of reforming the Western Roman Empire with a twist. But um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm going to call it a day, guys. So if you've enjoyed this Let's Play, like I said, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And a, any suggestions of future ones. And until next time, Legionnaires.